My name is Michael Brownstein. I'm an assistant professor in the Humanities Department at NJIT. I recently received my PhD in philosophy from Penn State University. Before that, I was a student at Columbia University and Deep Springs College. I live in Brooklyn, New York with my dog, Farah. My work concerns tacit forms of understanding. So what I mean by that are things like gut feelings, intuition, social skills, know-how. Uh, and I'm interested in how tacit forms of understanding explain human behavior. So an example would be if you can imagine yourself in a conversation, there's all kinds of skills that you're bringing to that conversation, all kinds of understanding, of which you're largely unaware. So we know how far apart to stand from one another, for example, when we're talking. Most of us can sense if someone else is interested in the conversation, if they're dialed in, if they're distracted. And we're usually not aware of ourselves uh, using those sorts of skills. Uh, a lot of what I do is focused on understanding the way that different scholarly disciplines conceptualize tacit forms of understanding. So for instance, right now I'm working on uh, examining whether the automatic and implicit uh, processing models of cognition that psychologists use can actually explain moral intuitions, for instance, which philosophers have tr traditionally been interested in. Moral intuitions are the kinds of feelings we have that something just seems right or wrong. I'm also interested in understanding what tacit forms of understanding can do for us in a positive sense. So if you imagine yourself in an interview, if you're doing well, you tend to be dialed in to what the interviewer is asking you. You're focused on him or her, and you're not focused on yourself. You're not focused on whether you're doing well. So in that sense, the tacit forms of understanding that you're bringing to how to perform well in that interview setting are largely operating in the background. And if they come to the foreground, then you've got a problem. I'm especially excited about the opportunity to pursue my interdisciplinary uh, interests in conjunction with my teaching at NJIT. I'll be teaching the philosophy of science, philosophy of technology, philosophy of social science. So in the philosophy of technology, for example, one way in which uh, my research pursuits uh, come out in the class is uh, an investigation into the ways that our understanding of social relationships, which is largely tacit in the background, changes in online social situations. And in a class like that, it's especially exciting because my students are the real experts there. Um, in the philosophy of science, we'll ask how our understanding of what has counted as a scientific fact over the last, ha, has changed over the last 2,000 years and how it's continuing to change. And then perhaps in, in the most exciting way, and I think this is really exciting even if you're an engineer or a biologist or if you're in an STS program, um, getting to ask how our understanding of what counts as a scientific fact or how we interact online ought to change, right? So how do we want to make that understanding evolve into the future? And that's, that's an incredibly important question for people pursuing any professional degree. Uh, so I really encourage anyone to come take my classes. Contact me anytime if you're interested in talking about my work or your work, the classes I teach at NJIT or Brooklyn, dogs, anything like that.